हे एवरी वन होप यू आर वेल सो द गवर्नमेंट अक्रॉस मैनी स्टेट्स आर इम्पोजिंग कर्ब्स ऑन कंज्यूमर्स टू टैकल पॉल्यूशन स्पेसिफिकली कर्ब्स ऑन कंज्यूमर वहीकल्स वाइल टेकिंग करेक्टिव स्टेप्स टू प्रिवेंट पॉल्यूशन इज अ गुड स्टेप बट द इशू गोज मच डीपर सीम्स लाइक दिस इज फॉर द सोल बेनिफिट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट on the sole cost of the consumers i want to discuss a few points to enunciate this point number 1 i don't understand the blanket ban on specific vehicle categories like bs3 and bs4 and if you have noticed these bans are regularly imposed on consumers one of the reasons is because this is a low hanging fruit and it is the easiest thing to do but easiest may not always be the correct one is this fair why so much animosity against the users of these vehicle categories while purchasing these vehicles we have paid so many taxes for the entire life of the vehicle a few years earlier the government started with banning all vehicles older than 15 years and for diesel it is even less does the government refund the taxes paid by us on pro rata basis for the time duration when the vehicle was not used or maybe this rule was implemented to act as another recurring income stream for the government on the sole cost of the consumer point number 2 why is a blanket ban even necessary why are we paying to renew a puc pollution check every year are within threshold readings on our puc document a sham or maybe paying for pucs is just another way to create an alternative income stream for the government from heavy chalans and so on why don't we cut the crap and make a stand and educate the hard working consumers on the hypocritical stand point number 3 what is the source of this increased pollution for a few months in a year if source a is the reason for increased pollution why is the government tackling source b i think it is clear to all of us that it is nothing but vote bank politics the government can't take preventive measures against the potential accused because they serve as one of the wheels of your chauffeur driven car the government won't help the helpless with technology or other effective interventions because there is a cost associated to it or else how will freebies be distributed how will that official class business trip be organized how else will politicians build their social media personal brands at the end of the day only the hard working middle class who pay the most taxes will be crushed because that is the easiest thing to do only the hard working middle class will be abused because that is the easiest to do only the hard working middle class won't receive any benefits let alone forget about freebies because that is the easiest thing to do well easiest and easiest more often than not is not the most right one thank you everyone have a nice day ahead